John Lee. John Lee. His name speaks for itself. Our enforcer. Leader. Can't wait to hit somebody. I've never seen him in better shape. He just brings everything to the table on and off the field. A fiery guy. Animal. Just straight animal. I don't want to be in his way. He's, he's, he's crazy. I think he's Superman. Sean Lee. I don't know. We'll find out who Sean Lee is this season. My mother, who raised uh, six boys and one girl, uh, really didn't like holding Sean because Sean was always bridging backwards and kind of fussing around and moving. Very active. Never stopped, woke up in the morning, never napped. Very strong. And they got into sports. Oh, it was fun to be around because we played, played a lot of sports together, so, you know, constantly competing. They were a little bit more aggressive <laughs> than a lot of the other kids. Played on the street, baseball, basketball, football. So I guess it helped him uh, keep trying to work harder. We competed nonstop, trying to chase after my brother, trying to be like him, trying to beat him in sports. And I think that's a big reason why I've been successful and I have a you know, good work ethic. We were split between Pitt and Penn State. Uh, my older son kicked for Pitt. My wife even would throw pitches to them and help them warm up and do drills with them in the driveway for baseball and soccer. We would take the pitching machine during the day with the boys and a uh, garbage can lid because when they would hit the ball, we'd have to put the garbage can lid in front of us. He loved basketball. We would go and practice his shooting. We were very fortunate to move into a neighborhood with lots of kids. The friends they've made here will be uh, last forever. We had some great coaches and some great uh, leaders in the community that really helped get the kids going. When Sean got to be a freshman in football at St. Clair, his freshman year, he really kind of got all the carries and really started to get some confidence and really came on strong. He uh, started on the varsity as a cornerback and got some time as a running back. And also starred on the basketball team. I actually decided to play basketball my senior year because that was so much fun. I just wanted to go out and be around him for a couple more months playing sports. His late sophomore, junior year is when he started focusing on football. So I played basketball all day from seventh grade till around 10th grade. And uh, that's what I wanted to do. And then finally I looked at myself and said, you're not a basketball player, you're a linebacker. You better get your head on straight and start playing football. We had like a third and two, and Jim Render gave the ball to, to Sean, and he started running, and, and it looked like he was going to be stopped short of the uh, first down. And it was just like a pile, a huddle, and they just kept moving and moving. It was like, oh my gosh, he's not going down. The other players looked up to him. There was no question that, that they were going to look to him as their, their ace. Played together in the secondary. It was just a lot of fun competing with them. We, you know. Both together in the secondary, making plays together. He's just one of these guys, you're not going to outwork him. You might be faster than him because of your genetics or whatever, but you're not going to outwork him. The Penn State coaches called and offered Sean uh, the scholarship. Sean Lee's going to be a, really a great football player someday. When they called, I said, you know, it was Penn State, and his eyes lit up. I knew at that moment. She said she could see it in his eyes, in his heart, that that's where he was going to go. That just fits his personality. The guys, I mean, he's really grateful for what Paul and Dan did for him. I happened to be at the first game that he played at Penn State. He pretty much tackled Teddy Ginn one-on-one uh, -on, -one on, on a kickoff return. Puts himself all out there, 110%. Dances around and just dropped at the 12 yard line. Oh. The football, Penn State has it. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Tony Davis. And Sean Lee punches it out with his left hand. My favorite play really is an interception against Michigan State. He wants Thomas again. He throws, and Lee picks it off. And Sean Lee makes a fabulous interception. Jack Ham was describing it. You talk about changing field position. Well, Sean Lee just did this. I told Sean that when you go to Penn State, then you have a standard to live up to. Excellence on the playing field, but excellence off the playing field. Let's go to the other field. Let's scrimmage a little. During the week, he's a little bit grumpy. Get down! You know, pushing us, but you know, he's a great coach, an inspiration to us, especially after 
the injury, you know, he's coming back from, from last year. You know, I, I wouldn't want to play for anybody else. I still remember the call, and all he was saying was, um, I busted my knee up. You hate to see maybe your son's uh, dreams end there. It was really Sean who got us out of feeling sorry for ourselves. He was the one who kind of turned it around and said, listen, I'll be able to lift, and I'll be able to learn about more about football. In the end all, it really was a positive thing for Sean. He's gotten bigger, stronger, and faster, and he just learned so much, and he matured so much as a person. It's so hell, baby. This is our time. I stayed out in practice and tried to help. I tried to give tips as much as possible. I knew the game plans. Do what you were born to do and represent who we are. LBU on three. Let's go, four, two, three, LBU! I know for a fact all the energy that he used last year to rile us up on the sidelines, he's definitely going to use against our opponents. I'm proud of his accomplishments because he's worked so hard to get there. If he could have played with a torn ACL last year, he'd been on that field. Um, I'm just excited for him this year. He's the uh, hardest worker on the team. He's ready to go. There's no better feeling than winning a game on Saturday in front of our fans. Painter, Taylor up the middle, stood up by Lee, and they crunched down. I don't know if he's in. And Penn State recovered. Sean Lee recovered. He grabbed the football out of his arms. I'm waking the next day Sunday after playing well after beating a team in the Big Ten. Um, that's such an unbelievable experience. I said it took a long time, but I'm ready to go, I'll tell you that much. Can't wait, we're gonna have 110,000 ready to rock. I'm excited.